board here. Thank you so much for everyone joining us here today. My name is Jesse Rowden. I am the manager of chapter relations for Women in Aviation International. Today, we are going to be talking about annual reports. So I am going to go ahead and I am going to share my screen. And as soon as you can share my screen, Rory, if you would give me a thumbs up and let me know that you can see that. Perfect. All right. And as always, the mission of Women in Aviation International, we are here to connect, engage, and inspire one another. Today, oh, do I have to? Yes, you do. We're gonna be reviewing our annual chapter reports today. Annual reports are due every April 30th, along with our $135 annual dues or annual chapter fees. Annual reports are found in two places. You can find those in chapter five of your 2023 Women in Aviation International Chapter Handbook. And some people that are here today are gonna say, wait, where? Oh yes. Indeed, we do have a chapter handbook. You can find everything you need on the Women in Aviation International website. You're going to go to that website on resources and the drop down under chapter resources, that third option there. When you go there, you're going to find first to your resources and then to your complete chapter handbook. Going to click that download and find about 120 pages of the most thrilling reading you've ever done on everything about the Women in Aviation International chapters. Or you can then find all everything you need to have on your forms here, your download and pay here on your annual chapter requirements. You're gonna find the chapter pay via the chapter pay now. And then you can download those forms. I've made an actual link to just where the forms are. And those are gonna download for you and you'll get those eight pages of forms right from the website. Why are these forms important? The forms keep us updated on your current officers and contacts for all of your WAI communications. One of the um, probably most frustrating things for Rory and I is when we send out those emails and they go to absolutely no one uh, because we don't have updated chapter officers. It also ensures that the chapter address, the website, email, and social media sites are current for the WAI website. We are constantly updating those paper chapter lists that we hand out at Sun and Fun or at Oshkosh or at any of the NDAA events that the WAI team goes out to. And when we're seeing those new members come up and they're so excited, they're like, hey, I'm in XYZ area and I'm looking for a chapter. And we'll say, great, that's wonderful. In XYZ area, you want to contact this chapter and here's their contact information. But that contact information is not up to date and they're reaching out to someone that doesn't actually exist. And then we're getting an email back saying, hey, I'm really frustrated. Um, that's because we don't have updated contact information. You know, we this is our way of making sure that that is consistently updated and that we're getting them to the right people. This also ensures that the chapter EIN incorporation uh, with the state and the tax exempt status information on file is current. Um, the other thing is, is to make sure that we're getting you the current due date information for important things like Girls in Aviation Day, when those chapter kit orders are due. That way, when September 23rd rolls around and I get an email saying, hey, by the way, I need chapter kits and it is September, I don't know, 16th. And I say, gosh, I'm really sorry, but we're all out of chapter kits. And someone says, well, I didn't get those emails. I didn't have your email address. I don't know what to do. Um, make sure we have all of those contacts and they are updated consistently. 
The annual reports are also important because it gives us the opportunity to update our bylaws and or our articles of incorporation. If you find that your bylaws are updated and they're just not quite working out for your chapter, we can read through those. We're consistently checking and making sure that maybe, you know, hey, the election dates just aren't working for us, or we found that these things are really updated and it requires that we have a board of directors on top of our um, current officers. And we really find that that extra layer just isn't necessary for the way that our chapter operates. Well, now we have an opportunity to um, go through and amend those bylaws and make it work for our chapter. This is the time for us to do that. We can also say, you know, our chapter name is updated and, or outdated, and we would like to update that. We can do that now, but if there's been a name change, there are things that we need to do with that. If we need to update that name change, we also need to update that with the federal government. And we need to update that with our state and update our articles of incorporation. So those things are required and we can do those with the IRS and we can also do that with the state. Now I can easily tell you how to do that with the IRS. You can go to irs.gov businesses and then do a business name change. However, with your state, each state is going to be different. So we can work through that together and we can find those things together. Just contact me and we'll go through that. The reports are also important to include your most recent chapter rosters, which is going to be sent by Rory. We'll get you your Q1 uh, roster. Standard chapters are required to have a minimum of 10 members for, uh, for your standard chapters, or if you're an international or student and collegiate chapter, you're required to have a minimum of 10 members. And those requirements are set by the uh, international bylaws, those here at headquarters, our bylaws that operate the, the main WAI. All chapter officers must be current members of Women in Aviation International. Now I wanna take a pause here because I do have chapters that are still struggling coming out of the pandemic. And I do have chapters that I think are kind of hesitating and saying, hey, you know, wait a minute, we're just kind of not communicating with WAI because we realize that we're having these, these struggles and we realize that we may not quite have those 10 members or our officers may not be current and we just don't know what to do. So we've kind of gone radio silent. We realize that there is this struggle going on in the world. It's okay. Everyone is having this struggle, not just WAI, not just WAI chapters. Let us help you. Um, we've had a lot of success with several chapters, just stopping, taking a pause, taking a breath, and starting all over again. Uh, we already have the tools in place. We already have the chapter in place, and those members are ready to get back together and ready to start again. We just have to um, take those steps and do that outreach to get them re-engaged and re-involved, okay? So nobody's in trouble. Nobody is, is going to, to get their chapter taken away. We just have to communicate, okay? So reach out to me, we can do all of these things. Right, chapter got together and they had a great hockey day. Um, you know, St. Louis is getting ready to have a meeting. We had a wonderful virtual meeting with all of our European chapters. They're getting ready to start doing virtual meetings with all of the chapters getting together and um, networking that way. Kansas City had a wonderful kickoff meeting um, and, and actually started the chapter that way. So, you know, just reach out to me and there are things that we can do. Um, when we are doing the report, there are things that we are going to ask for, and this is what is included in the report. WAI is going to ask for a summary of your membership and recruitment events that you held in 2022, your educational and mentoring events that you held in 2022, and your outreach events that you held in 2022. 
We are also going to ask you to give us a summary of your scholarships that were awarded in 2022. And we're going to ask you to take stop and take a look and give us a plan for what events, mentorship, scholarship, outreach, membership drives, et cetera, that you have planned for 2023. We're also going to ask you if you have planned events for Girls in Aviation Day. And then we're going to ask you to give us an estimate of what professions and enthusiasms that you have within your membership. We're asking you to give us this information to confirm that we as an organization as a whole are meeting the required criteria of our 501c3 status. This is required information for us to make sure that we are doing what we said we were going to do when we organized as a charitable organization. We're also going to take this information and use it to plan for what we need for our Girls in Aviation Day kits, um, for the money that we need to raise to fund those Girls in Aviation Day kits and the events and, and the things that we need to raise money for as we're helping fund you as our chapters. So this is very important information when we're asking you for it. Who needs to file? All chapters have to submit these reports to us. Our official chapters, the official chapters less than one year, our provisional chapters, everyone needs to get us these reports. But what about that annual fee? You will receive an updated chapter roster along with your most recent quarter one chapter rebate report from Rory early in April. The annual chapter fee of $135 is only paid by the official chapters of over one year. But hold on, there's one more thing. What about that annual fee? You can apply your earned rebate money to your chapter's annual fee. When you are getting that rebate report and your, your email from Rory and I that has your quarter one, um, your roster, you also get something that has your rebate money with it. When Rory and I are telling you about your rebate money, you're earning money as you are bringing members into your chapter. So we give you credit. We, we understand that everyone is a volunteer. Um, I want you to understand that that annual fee that you are paying is to cover your insurance. We automatically put every chapter that comes into WAI on our insurance. We are not requiring that chapters are paying us money so that we are making money off of the chapters. That money is simply going to pay for your insurance to cover you as an organization for your events, right? So when you're bringing in your members, you, we're giving you credit for those members. And that money that you're earning, you can decide how that money goes to what and what it goes to pay for. So you can use it for anything, but you can use it to credit to pay your annual fee if you choose to. You can choose to subtract that amount that you earn toward your balance of your annual fee if you would like to. So if you earn $30 and you can say, hey, Jess and Rory, apply that $30 to my annual fee and now you only owe 105. Your final steps, you're going to submit your reports to Rory at her email address, which is rainbinder at wai.org. And then your payments will be submitted through the website at the https oldweb.wai.org slash chapter pay. And the payments need to see, or I'm sorry, any payments submitted after April 30th will be subject to a $25 late fee. We've made it very, very easy again to submit that chapter fee. You go to your chapter resources page and then under your chapter requirements, you don't have to remember that website that I just rattled off. You go 
to that pay via chapter fee right there. And it goes right to the website and you can pay your chapter, your chapter fee. And should you need us, just remember, Rory and I are right here and you can email us at any time. We're also available by phone. Our phone numbers are posted everywhere and you can call us anytime. So again, I told you this one is gonna be short and sweet. So I'm gonna stop sharing now. And you are more than welcome to ask Rory and I any questions that you might have. Hey, Jesse, a question was asked, is the uh, insurance E&O insurance? Is it, is I'm sorry? For, is the money, $135 for insurance, is that E&O insurance? I didn't know what that meant. I'm not sure what E&O insurance means either. Molly is here with us and she might be able to answer that question. I've not heard of E&O insurance. I can answer that part of it. E&O insurance is errors and omissions for your officers. E&O insurance for yeah, your officers. Yeah, E is for errors, O is for omissions. It's just for your officers, any acts that they uh, might commit. And if you have E and O insurance, you might want to look at it and see exactly what it covers. Different insurance companies cover different acts, like sexual harassment and things like that. So um, I was just wanting to know if that's the kind of insurance we're paying for. I believe so, but I can, I will go back and uh, it is not E&O, Molly says, it is not E&O or D&O, it is only liability coverage. Okay, great, thank you. I, I uh, needed to know that. Um, so the liability, do you know what liabilities it covers? We can definitely get you that information, Imani. Okay, thank you so much because we, if it- No problem. Okay, because if it's just like general liability and it doesn't cover the acts of the um, members, we may want to purchase another policy. It, it is a, I can tell you that it is a general liability policy. Okay, thank you. We just need to know what liabilities it covers so we don't get duplicate coverage. Okay, yes, I'll-, I'll I'll get you the information. It, uh, it is a general liability policy. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Are there any other questions? Hey, Ro uh, sorry. Hi, Jesse. it's Becky Calder. Hi, Becky. Hi, um, I had a question about, so I'm gonna stop my treadmill, so here I am. <laughs> Um, I had a question about the annual reports and combining possibly some of those events. We are, as you know, Sierra Battleborn in Reno. We're sort of a new chapter. We're getting up and running. And so some of our events that we're planning, can they, those be combined events? The um, outreach events, membership drives, all that. We have a big event coming up in April, and it kind of fits all those bills. So is that okay to say that it's an event for all of those different kinds of things? Yes. Yes. So if it covers both outreach and membership, yes, absolutely. So, you know, you're, you're doing something that is educational, but you're also, you know, gaining members in that way. So yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Okay. So, and then one, oh, sorry. I ahead. had one qu quick follow on question um, related to the dues. I know that we had spoke earlier and we, Sierra Battleborn does have a little bit of a credit. Do I obviously need to find that out prior to, if we're not going to get that information from Rory until April, um, can we just need to request email what me. that is mm -hmm. to, okay. Yeah, I'll email just you. email us. We'll send okay. you, we'll yeah, send you what it is. Us. No problem. Yeah. Okay. Email us. We'll tell you what it is. Okay. Thank you. You're so welcome. Uh, I'm sorry, Rebecca, I have a question for Jesse. So uh, when I had a meeting and uh, one of HR is part of a board member, I invited from uh, uh, one of a HR person from Boeing. And she, he said that to me, we can, in a course in aviation day, we can set up for uh, a recruiting event for hiring career affair. 
So it mm -hmm. comes with the insurance also too. We need to get the insurance for that. We can send you the we, we can send you our insurance policy uh, for them mm -hmm. uh, and and you know have it filled out. Okay. For that yes. event. Yeah, we can send it for that event. Okay, good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You just you it's a you just need to send me a request for the policy and it mm -hmm. takes a couple of days. She, she usually has it within a day or two. Okay, thanks. I have a question regarding rebate money. So I think our chapter has more than the 150 uh, insurance money. And I don't think we've ever really done anything with the remaining money. Is that money that gets lost per se? Like no. you can you can use it toward you can use it toward um, conference. You can use it toward chapter store items. You can use it toward a, a myriad of, of items. Okay. We'll, we'll keep that in mind and try to try to use it. Yeah. Uh, someone yeah. said suggest purchasing a chapter banner. Yep. Awesome. Thank you. Yep, that's your money. We we highly encourage that that you utilize that. We've we've had chap we've had chapters send members to conference with it. We've had all kinds of all kinds of things. And with the new chapter store, you know that gives you lots of opportunities to do more with your items. Awesome. We do have a bingo night that we're planning for May, I believe. So getting some swag would be great yeah, to, to that would be fun that would that. be fun i've got kayla's hand up hi um i have a question about using the rebate for conference so we offer a scholarship um for a member to go to conference and then how do we use that to get um how do we use the rebate for a registration Contact Rory and I, and we will then take that money and apply it toward your conference registration. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, we'll get together so with Stephanie. Mm -hmm. Yep, send okay. us an email. We will then take the money, contact, and you tell us what member, we'll apply it, and make sure that it happens. Awesome. Imani, Thank you so you much. Your hand up. You're welcome. Thank you. Yes, I do have one other question. Since we are a new chapter, and we don't have any events uh, or anything to report for 2022, aren't there any reports that we are required to submit as a new chapter? You wanna tell us what you're gonna be doing for 2023. Okay, wonderful. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Do we need to have a projected budget for that? No budgets. We're not gonna ask you for budgets. Just tell us, tell us what your events are going to be. Are you, and particularly, are you going to be planning on doing a Girls in Aviation Day for 2023? And how many young ones are you expecting? Um, because again, that helps us with our planning for our budgeting for 2023. How many kits are we going to need and what are we needing to budget? Wonderful. Thank you so much. So you're going to fill out the same form. You're going to fill out the annual report form. Mm -hmm. Like Jesse said, you'll just note on there that you're a new chapter. So you had no 2022 um, events. And just mm -hmm. as she said, show us what 2023 is. So uh, when do I need to fill out the form for course uh, in aviation day for uh, uh, estimating, you know, people, you know, student, when do you need to fill out uh, sent it to you because uh, you know I'm planning for uh, GIAD uh, in September 23rd. So I'm start uh, advertising to the industry in a school system, and so I'm not sure exactly when uh, member number gonna be show up. So when do you guys need? So you well, guys need to plan. You're just gonna give us a, a rough estimate of how many you think you're gonna do. Are you gonna mm -hmm. do one, and how many do you think you? you might have, and then you're going, you're still going to fill out the same form due by April 30th, April 30th. Have it to okay. us by April 30th on that form. 
Okay. Catherine, Thanks, you've got your hand up. Thank you, Young. Hi, everyone. This is Catherine from the Kansas City chapter. So we're a fairly new chapter. And uh, I was wondering um, who does a, who, who, in the, who in the chapter sends out the form? And is it just, is a format to do the, the, the report? And also, how do you find out if you have a rebate? Generally, the chapter secretary is the one that sends us the form, but it's dependent on, you know, what you, as who, who, the chapter decides, usually the chapter designates that person. And to find out the rebate, you just would email either Rory or I, and we will let you know what that rebate is. Or again, once a, you, it, during the, the quarter, Rory, and, Rory is going to send out an email to all of the chapter officers that tells you what your rebate is and who your and, and give you your chapter roster. All right, thank you so much. You're very welcome. So the reason why it's not, it doesn't come out until April and, and, you're, and you're due April 30th is because we have to wait till March 31st to run all the reports to end the first quarter. And then at that point, we start the process of getting each individual email together, each individual report together, and then mailing them out. You could go online and start your annual report now uh, and hand it in at any time. Um, and then you'll find out, you can either email us, we can tell you what your rebate dollars are now, even before we run that quarterly uh, rebate report. And it'd be rough, you know, it'd be about the same amount, or you can wait till the email comes out to see if you've had any new members in the first quarter of 2023 added to your rebate dollars. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? We've had several chapters that have already sent us their stuff. You know, there's there's been several chapters that have already filed. And if you're not gonna use your rebate dollars, you can pay your admin fee right now. Jamie? Hi. Hi, Jamie. Um, I feel like Rory just answered this question for me. Um, you want us to confirm, you want us to go ahead and update that quarter one report, right? Well, well, we want so to like if we're, go ahead. If, if we're adding people to that roster or taking people off that roster, you want us to update that, correct? Correct. And what will happen is then I run, I'll run the report, a, a separate report on March 31st, and it'll show us how many people you've, how many people have been added this first okay. quarter. And then you get your dollars based on that. And those are added to last year's dollars because we roll the dollars, the rebate dollars over. So it'll get added and then the emails will go out to you. Okay. And then uh, second second thing is maybe in the future when it asks us for, you know, what type of careers and whatnot are in your chapter, can we add a line of, you know, maintenance people? Sure. I would appreciate that because I write that in every year and it kind of is awkward to write it in. I can go in and try to do you that right. To... Okay. Well, then <laughs> just see, notify I'll people see what I can that... do to edit that form. Um, okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, no problem. No problem. And I will say, so running those reports right now, um, it it is a bit of a task, just so that you are all aware. Um, it is not an easy task at the moment with our new database. So be um, give us a little bit of grace. Is is all I ask for. It's about a two week task, unfortunately. Um, it's it's not an easy one. So. We are we are doing our best to get it all together with that that March thirty first and and going as quickly as we can. So, Beverly, hello Detroit, how are you doing? Hi there, Jesse, how are you? And everybody, wonderful, wonderful. Things are a little better, but still challenged. Oh, uh, on the personal side, you know. Well, sending you my heart, dear. 
Thank you, thank you. Now, I still have a problem with my 990. Apparently, the IRS has some kind of a backlog. I don't know what's going on with the nonprofits. So I haven't been able to get anything. Okay. Well, yeah. you, you are a brand new chapter, so I have to add you to our list. So oh. you are okay. You're okay on your 990. Oh, okay, good. Thank you're you. okay. Yep, you're a brand new chapter. So you are being added to our list right now. Okay. All right. That's, so you're all good. Thank you. Yes, right. ma'am. Appreciate you. Yes. Rebecca. Hi there. Hello. Just a quick word for everybody who's newer at the chapter report requirement. Please don't be intimidated. I've survived many of these. It's really not as tough as it sounds. Um, and you've got a great support team helping you out here. So don't hesitate to ask them when you get stuck. But really, you know, you ladies are brilliant already. You're in women in aviation. So this chapter report, ah, piece of cake. Go get it done. So Yay. please don't worry about it. Just, just work on it. And my secret became work on it through the year and add things to it. Because then it got really easy by the time it was due. Awesome. Thank you, Rebecca. That's amazing. That's exactly what we needed right there. You're awesome. Fiona, I thought I saw Fiona's hand up there for just a minute. No, I was clapping for Rebecca because um, listening to this, I was thinking, oh my goodness, but she's really made me feel like, yes, we can do this. <laughs> I was just clapping and applauding what she said. Thank you. Thank you, Fiona. Oh, I'm so happy to see all of these amazing faces and, and names and everything here today and the support. It's so wonderful. You make my heart so full. So y'all are wonderful. So do you have any other questions? How did we do today? Was there good information here for you? All right, perfect. Well, this is going to go up on YouTube. Kelly will put it up. It'll be available for you within a couple of days. So if there's anything that you feel like you need to review, it'll be up on the WAI YouTube channel. So you have it and you can check it out. Um, I do want to say to everyone on that 990 that, br that Beverly brought up a minute ago, thank you so much, everyone, for your patience and your kindness and all of the technical difficulties that went on this year from the federal government's um, two month downtime on the website. And then when they did come up, they went up and they went down and they went up and they went down and they went around and they went up and they went down. And they're still doing that. But you have been absolutely wonderful and your patience has been wonderful and you've responded to me in wonderful ways and I cannot thank you enough for that um so thank you um and we've done great and we are good and everyone has been just fabulous so again thank you so again that 990 is a once a year thing and I will send out everyone emails to those established chapters over one year it's kind of the same thing that we just went over when you when you're provisional, you don't have to file. When you're official less than one year, you don't have to file. When you're official over one year, you do have to file. So that's kind of that 990 in um, thing. But uh, Young, you have a question? Yes. So, uh, you know, of course, it's a new chapter. So I pick up from my work, and most of them are senior managers. And then I also do a lot of travel. So it comes on a monthly meeting for chapter meeting. Uh, can I delegate to people to be attending? Because uh, since the news, a lot of information will be missing, you know? So we, I can Your delegate. Chapter when officers. I'm, yes. Mm -hmm. your, your chapter officers absolutely are welcome to attend. Okay, thanks. You're so welcome. Well, everyone, it's absolutely my pleasure to be here. Thank you so much for taking your time. We are at 38 minutes in. I know your time is precious and I appreciate you being here. So be well for the rest of the month. I will see you next month. And we're doing Girls in Aviation Day prep next month. So I hope to see you. 
Annie Strike Leather will be here with me next month. We have a few new things to throw at you for Girls in Aviation Day. She's been working hard. Um, we've been working hard together to get um, some new things for you, and we will see you soon. Have a beautiful uh, rest of March and beginning of April, and we'll talk to you soon. So uh, the Thank presentation you, you had, uh, are you going to print it, to, uh, send us to email, or are you going to post it on the web? Today's, It'll be uh, posted to the Women in Aviation, uh, the Women in Aviation International YouTube channel, Young. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank, thank you. you Jesse and everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesse. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. See you soon. Bye.